gap is sitting with the on the final lap at 2.7 seconds unless something goes terribly badly wrong for Rio Hirakawa the, the keeper Toms Supra and Hirakawa are going to take this 2020 Super GT Championship over this final lap at Fuji Speedway it's going to be triumph and heartbreak for somebody but who's it going to be 2.8 miles to decide it and again clean air between the two cars has rio kawa got enough just to cling on my money was on yamamoto four or five laps ago but looking at the way the um the gap has stabilized and then just stretched ever so slightly my money swings back now towards rio hirakawa as he makes a move around the uh the amg there coming through turns five six that amg could be crucial because if it if uh, Yamamoto catches him at the wrong point of track in the middle sector, which he's going to, that could scotch all of Yamamoto and Team Ray Briggs, Team Kunimitsu's championship hopes. It's going to be extremely fast. There goes Yamamoto past the Mercedes. The gap is opening up ever so slightly, but Yamamoto is pumped in a fantastic middle sector there. A 27-7, but it's not, it's not close enough. It's not going to get it done through the he's final sector. Sam. Rio he's Hirakawa. No, he's not yeah. close enough. Rio Hirakawa driving through now the final through corners, final few corners of Fuji Speedway and rounding out the 2020 Super GT Championship with not only what he's looks out like fuel, he's out of fuel. He's out of fuel. He's out of fuel. fuel on the line. Wow. Wow. Unbelievable. Oh my word, that is the championship. Naoki Yamamoto and Team Kunamitsu win the race and the 2020 Super GT Championship on the final corner after Rio Hirakawa and the keeper Team Tom Supra runs out of fuel on the finish line. JP Oliveira in the realized GTR in GT300 crosses the line in second position in that class and takes the championship win there as well now stay tuned to us we will bring you all of the post-race interviews championship celebrations and the championship heartbreak wow